Alright, we're sitting in a 2001 S-Class. We just installed the Denshin um, uh, Gateway Light uh, GWL1DB1, I believe. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure on the part number, but. Um, Alright, I want to show you how it works real quick. Um, I got my 160 gig iPod Classic. This thing charges all the latest iPods um, up to the iPhone 3GS currently. Um, check the website for more details on what it fully supports. Um, Alright, first thing you do is you plug in the iPod. As soon as you plug in the iPod, it says loading CD. Oops. You'll hear the music. Now, this is a, uh, a light model, so it doesn't lock up the iPod ever. So what you can do is you can go in here. So you can get into your playlist. Select whatever playlist you want. Let's say reggae. All right, and there you go. And then you can control. You can see this. When I hit track up, all right, you ready? It goes up a song. And then if you hit track back, it goes back a song. Very simple interface. Um, all the connections are done behind the radio. If you have a CD changer in the trunk, um, you have to take out the changer and jump to fiber optic wires to completely skip it. Um, the track up on the steering wheel also works. Let me put up the volume first so you can hear it. And then you can do track up. Fast forward doesn't work. Uh, it does work on the radio though. So you can fast forward through it. This also has an input for a USB stick. Um, all you got to do is plug it in. As soon as you plug it in, there you go. The iPod will pause itself. See, I didn't touch it at all. It did it all by itself. And that's the music from the uh, USB. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my USB on me. This is a customer's USB. Um, the way this unit works with the USB is that when you put CD1, that's your uh, your first folder, CD2 is your second, three, four, five, and six, up to six folders. Now, if you want to shuffle all the songs, you just unplug it, replug it, and once you plug it back in, it goes into, it plays all the songs on the uh, memory stick. Um, that went back to iPod because the iPod's still connected. See? And you can also control the music on the memory stick. You know? And if you ever want to go back to iPod, you either disconnect the USB stick or unplug and replug the iPod. to do its thing and it comes right back on by itself all right that's it man this is a really simple interface uh, that works with all the D2B systems and all the Mercedes um, has USB and iPod unfortunately no auxiliary because uh, this unit's made in Hungary and they're not too big on satellite radio over there so uh, why else would you need a uh, an aux if it wasn't for the sat um, that's pretty much it uh, we sell and install the unit in uh, our store in New Jersey uh, Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by InfinCarStereo.com.